Hey guys, in this short little session here, we're going to kind of have a look at a couple of um, really basic multiplication and division word problems. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So we got that first question on the left here where we've got, there are seven cookies in a box. How many cookies are in five boxes? Um, and I guess sometimes it's a bit challenging to try and figure out when am I doing multiplication and when am I doing uh, division? So always visualizing it helps. So we're going to create a little... Um, box right there and so we've got seven cookies uh, let's go with blue cookies so one two three four five six seven um, and of course you've got five boxes um, so you can kind of see that what you've got here is uh, five groups of uh, five lots of seven uh, five lots of seven is kind of saying seven times five and we know that as I said to you before you got to know your times table so seven times five is 35 all right. Now, what I have seen people do is like literally draw this out and uh, they sit there counting the dots. Um, and that's something, well, well, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, but really in maths, it's about trying to find shortcuts all the time of how to get to the um, get through the question real quickly. Um, you know, if you want to draw the dots and count the dots there, that's one way of doing it. But like I said, when you understand those little shortcuts, it can get a little faster. So what about this next one here? So we've got um, the next problem on the right. There are six students and 54 cookies. If the cookies were split equally uh, amongst the students, how many cookies does each student get? Now, so what we've got here is we've got 54 cookies, all right? And, I, and I, again, I've seen people do this. They literally do 54 dots. And I'm not going to do 54 dots because that is just a long time. Um, but to get an idea... Um, Oh, no, I really don't. I'm, no, I'm not going to do 54 dots. I'm not. That's just crazy. Okay, I am crazy. I did do 54 dots. Um, did I do 54 or 64 there? I can't even see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I have 54 dots right there. So what I've seen people do is like they literally group six, right? So, okay, so there are six students. Um, so what do we got? Okay, so I've given out each student a cookie so that's six cookies gone and then I've got my second lot of six coming here like that and pretty much you know if you keep going you're gonna get the answer but again geez this is such a long way what we're really trying to do is we're trying to figure out 54 divided by um, six there because we've got six students we've got 54 cookies uh, so we just got to do 54 divided by six and again knowing your times table you probably will by this time you probably know that this is equal to 9. Um, or how do we get that real quickly? We know that 6 times 9 is equal to 54. And if you remember our little triangle that we did in the previous video, so we would actually go 54 divided by 6 is equal to 9. So that basically tells me that um, each student is going to get 9 cookies. All right. Now, there's, a, there's an interesting thing that um, I do here, uh, just so that you understand uh, how some of these... Um, units actually work later on when you are going into uh, something like physics or even um, I've seen a pop up in chem as well. So if you think about it like this, or rate, rate, right? This is like 54 cookies for nine, um, keep writing nine, should be six students. Then this can be written as nine cookies per one student. All right, so I'm just going to leave this out here. And maybe when you come later on uh, to my um, other videos at, um, what do you call it, E11, when we're doing rise over run and stuff like that, uh, especially with gradients, uh, you're going to see this stuff again. But for now, all you need to worry about is that when you do 54 divided by 6, that's going to be 9 right there. Good, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.